All right, I want to do another short little video here about the false prophecies of this Paul Begley guy. Uh, he's a liar. And I'm going to show you here a verse of Scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22. It talks about when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay? In other words, don't even pay attention to the guy. Just, you know, he's a loser. And that's what Paul Begley is. Now, you can watch the two videos. You just look it up, you know, his prophecies, 12 prophecies for 2013. But I'll just go over them here. He says, uh, number one, there would be three major solar flares. And, he, you know, and when he's talking about it, he's like, it, it might, you know, there's a possibility that it might uh, affect the Earth and, and there may be some parts of solar grids that get knocked out. Maybe, maybe, possibly. That's not prophecy. Okay, prophecy is is definite. This is what's going to happen. Study the Bible prophecies. There's no, it might happen, it may, it will happen. Number two, he said that there will be a massive mega earthquake in 2013. And then he said, and this is the first part of his video, he said that it's specifically approximately 8.7. How can you have a prophecy be specific, but yet approximate? Contradicts himself. And if you look it up, you can look and you can see there were no 8.7 earthquakes. And of course, he covers it by saying it's, it's in the ballpark of 8.7. There's, you know, it's just in the ballpark, but the number 8.7 kept coming into my mind. There wasn't one that was 8.7. So he lied. But, you know, he covers it up by saying it's maybe in the ballpark, you know. I mean, God told him 8.7, but, you know, God kind of messed up a little bit there. It's what these Satanists like this think. Number three, he says that there will be terrible tornadoes, but he's not sure whether they're going to occur. It's just terrible tornadoes someplace. Okay, uh, that's been the case for years and years and years and years now, that there have been terrible tornadoes. It's not prophecy. Then he said, and I love this one, there will be a drought in Africa. You think so? Uh, Africa that has the world's largest desert in it. Africa that has more problems with drought than any other country ever. Uh, boy, you know, there's a safe bet that he's going to be right on that one, you know. There's a drought in Africa. Wow, you know, how impressive. Number five, he said that there would be unrest in Asia. Again, wow, what a prophecy. Number six, more shootings in America. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as long as there's Hollywood promoting the whole system and, and psychotropic drugs and, and MK Ultra mind control and, and video games, violent video games and everything else, of course there's going to be more shootings in America. Give me a break. Then in number seven, he says, they will try but not accomplish taking away your Second Amendment rights here in America. They've been trying that for years. Again, this isn't prophecy. This is just the same thing that happens every year. Number eight, another good one. The economy will suffer. Wow. You know, what a wonderful prophet here we have. Number nine, he said that there would be a great move of God in the body of Christ. Many people would be saved and that there would be a mighty revival in an unknown place. Huh? So as the apostasy gets worse and worse, there's more people falling away. There's more people that refuse to hear the truth, they turn away their ears from the truth, you know, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, all that stuff, all those prophecies of the great falling away, you know, oh no, there's going to be a great revival now. And, and it's funny because he lists a bunch of charismaniac revivals in the past, you know, crazy. Then he says that Syria would fall in 2013. I don't think that happened. Oops, you know, I guess he's a false prophet then. But number 11, we're going to listen to this one here. This, this one cracks me up. Listen to this. Listen to the surety of what God told him. And he says it's God telling him this stuff. Listen to this one. This is a good one. Uh, prophecy number 11, the seven-year peace agreement, the covenant found in Daniel chapter 927 to be confirmed, 50% chance it will be signed. It will definitely be debated, talked about, pursued. 
in great unrest in the UN. Uh, it's going to be signed 50% chance. If God's telling you that, it doesn't the Lord know the future? See? This guy is a faker. How in the world is he, has he deceived so many people? It's incredible. Well, let's continue here. Just watch the last couple seconds of this video. Don't want to waste too much of your time. Over Palestine. So keep an eye on those. And 12, prophecy number 12, uh, there will be the days of vengeance. This is the most uh, pr profound prophecy. I will be back with another video just for this prophecy. Number 12, the days of vengeance. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're almost out of time. Yes, and I am out of time listening to Paul Begley, okay? Uh, just wanted to do a couple videos on this guy, exposing him. Uh, he's a wicked false prophet, okay? This this guy is, is so ridiculous. I mean, he's got, you know, all kinds of Catholic stuff hanging around his house and everything else. I mean, he's just totally wicked. I'm going to do one more video uh, talking about a, a video that's come out exposing Paul Begley. And uh, then we're going to be done with this guy. Um, I'm doing this as a request from a brother that actually used to work with Paul Begley. And this guy is just ridiculous, this Paul Begley guy. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't, don't listen to this nutty, kooky prophecy stuff, okay? It's nonsense. Read your King James Bible. That's where you're prophecies are going to, the real prophecies that actually come true, that's where you find them right there. April and Wayne Show app is now available on Google Play for Android and donate to help the ministry at aprilandwayneshow.com People are sitting in church Sunday after Sunday, year after year and still are not saved because they're listening and believing in ministers who are leading their souls to hell. Jesus explained in the scriptures that those ministers are not going to heaven and they're blocking you from going. It's like the blind leading the blind because the people love their pastors and their churches more than Jesus. Just because a pastor is behind the pulpit doesn't mean that he's preaching from the word of God because they will pervert the word of the living God for their own purpose. That's why the Bible says to try the spirits by the spirits where they be of God because there are many false prophets who are gone into the world. Don't listen to preachers, I mean false prophets, who are motivators of prosperity, of self-empowerment, of health and wealth, and teachers of life skills because they say that they're giving you the principles to live by to improve your life. Like most popular preachers and TV ministers on TVN, like Joe Osteen, T.D. Jakes, and Rick Warren. Many ministers are following their teachings instead of the teachings of Jesus Christ because they want to have large churches and large amounts of money at the price of your soul. People need to wake up and realize that their teachings are doctrines of demons to contradict the Bible with half lies and half truths so Satan can get your soul. Their teachings come from the rudiments and wisdom of this world, which is foolishness with God, and is based on the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. God says, this is not of me, but of this world. And the Bible says that those type of ministers are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world, and the world hears them. The world listens to them, the world believes them, and the world will follow them straight down to hell fire. God says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my word, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. And they will cry aloud and spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and their sins. Ministers are supposed to warn the sinners to save their souls from hell and warn the righteous not to sin so they won't end up in hell. If they don't, God is going to require their blood at their hands. Preachers of the day are afraid to warn their congregation about their sin and talk about hell because they're afraid that the members, the mothers of the church, the deacon board, the board members, and their money might leave. If a minister is not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ, he would preach what Jesus preached consistently, not once a year. 
because God says to teach my word faithfully. They will preach it in season and out of season. They will preach the truth when they want to hear it and when they don't want to hear it until Jesus comes back. there is no vision the people perish but he that keepeth the law which is the word of God the Lord happy is he Jeremiah 23 verse 16 to 20 thus saith the Lord of hosts hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me. The Lord has said, you shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and has perceived and heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed until he have performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days you shall consider it perfectly or in other words you shall know it perfectly as it is written in the latter days for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety as it is written they say still unto them that despise me the Lord has said you shall have peace and they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart no evil shall come upon you or in other words, safety. Then sun destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. As it is written, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision. And it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine. And the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. But unto you that fear the Lord Jesus Christ, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. To him that has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. Oh,